Hi, my name is Dave. Today let's have a look at the Celestron Cometron CO60 from the mid 80s or so. Do not confuse the Celestron Cometron CO60 with the Celestron Cometron CO62. This scope is quite a different thing. It's a little short 60 millimeter. It does accept inch and a quarter eyepieces. This one doesn't. And it has a fairly decent 6x30 finder. This finder is uh, laughable. It's a kind of a joke. So anyway, that's one difference. Also, do not confuse this with the uh, Celestron Cometron CO60E with an E on the end. That comes on a wonderful Polaris mount, beautiful equatorial mount. And this one has the simple, very basic Altaz mount, as you can see. Okay, let me show you how the scope operates. This has got to be one of the simplest Altaz mounts ever. It's got a, you know, simple bearing here. There's no lock on this, by the way, but it's nice and smooth. This is made of metal. Nice and smooth. Very, very effective uh, in that regard. This thing here, when I uh, bought this, I thought, oh, I've made a terrible mistake. That's a piece of junk. That's not going to work. But honestly, it works pretty darn well. It's not bad. It's at least as, as good as the typical horseshoe kind of a yoke deal. <clears throat> and this is really not bad. The friction control here is pretty darn nice. You can tighten it up if you want to, but you really probably don't need to. It's, the, the scope is light enough that if you move it around and so forth, it's pretty easy. I had it out last night. I was looking at Jupiter with the scope. And I cranked the power up to about 120 power. And I mean, it wasn't perfect, but you could track pretty easily. Just push it, push it, push it. Uh, and every once in a while, you'd have to adjust the altitude. It really wasn't bad. Uh, now, the optics on this scope surprised me and shocked me because they're superb. This thing has a wonderful airspace acromat. It's beautiful. I uh, was able to use it at 120 power. The seeing was good and I was able to resolve very nice detail on the surface of Jupiter with this little scope. There are some other issues with the scope. Let's talk about, about those now. Namely, the 965 eyepieces and this finder, which is terrible. This finder has to be one of the worst finders I've ever seen. Uh, oddly enough, they put it on a this is a metal stock here, which is unusual. And, uh, but, but the finder itself, I don't know, a uh, five by 20 or something is terrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible in all sorts of ways. Uh, one of the worst things about it is that once you focus it, see how loose that is? Well, that doesn't stay where you want it to stay unless, and I put a little piece of tape. I don't know if you can see it on here, but I put, put a little piece of, um, packing tape on there to just give it enough thickness it focuses right about there and now with that little bit of additional friction it, it will stay focused but it's just horrible and trying to center it with this device oh, it's just a nightmare now i discovered that you can pull this finder off this is an orion easy finder too you can buy these for i don't know i think about twenty dollars or so if you want to use this scope, this scope is not what you would call premium quality all the way around, but it's not bad. The optics are good. The mount is okay. It actually is surprisingly okay. Put a decent finder on it and you've, all of a sudden you've got a much better telescope uh, for an investment of 20 or $30. The tripod tray on this scope is more flexible than many others. Uh, first of all, it's nice. It's a it's a real tray, so you can put eyepieces there or whatever. <clears throat> but the nice thing about it is that you can adjust the tray up and down with regard to the telescope legs, but also it's very easy to slide this together. So that comes together nicely. You can even tighten it down there if you want. But the idea here would be that you could keep it, you could set it up like this, and then take it uh, through the door nice and conveniently and then spread it out when you get it out. Like so. Now you've got a very stable platform. 
This scope comes with a 965 focuser, and there's no way to change that uh, without changing the whole focuser. You can buy a hybrid diagonal to use inch and a quarter in here. Oddly enough, this with this little diagonal on the uh, Celestron eyepiece, Celestron, it's a pretty nice eyepiece. It's low power, pretty low power, um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. If you happen to have a good quality set of 965 eyepieces, the diagonal actually works pretty well. The find the, the focuser is not so bad. It could be a lot worse than all this. And it's not a bad, uh, it's a, not a bad scope. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Celestron Cometron CO60. Thank you for watching.